point by serial correlation coefficient abbreviated as RPP. In fact, there are two tests. One of them is point by serial correlation coefficient and the other one is by serial correlation. So in point and by serial correlation tests, one of the two variables you want to find the correlation between is dichotomous. Dichotomous mean that it is binary. Categories, two categories, such as pregnant or not pregnant, yes or no, dead or alive. Dichotomous variable can be discrete or continuous. Discrete dichotomous variables such as dead or alive, pregnant or not, yes or no. Continuous dichotomous variable such as fail, pass or fail marginally. So there is underlining continuity. So that's why it is called continuous dichotomous. So there are two tests, point by serial correlation coefficient, in which one of the variable is discrete dichotomous and the other is continuous variable. However, in by serial correlation coefficient test, one of the variable is continuous dichotomous and the other is continuous variable. So that is the difference between those two tests. The point by serial correlation coefficient calculate the correlation coefficient between two variable one of them is discrete dichotomous and the other one is continuous variable by serial correlation calculate the coefficient between one variable that is continuous dichotomous and another is continuous so for point by serial correlation coefficient it is a parametric test. It is based on or uses the Pearson's product moment correlation. It does measure the relationship between two variables, the direction of that relationship and the strength, whether it's and the strength. An independent t-test can be also used to calculate some of the parameters in the test. For data to be used and for point by serial correlation coefficient to be calculated, the data have to fulfill certain assumptions and criteria. There should be one continuous variables. And in that continuous variable, there is no outliers. So it means that it should be normally distributed for both categories. When you split the continuous variable between the two categories, it is normally distributed. And there should be one discrete dichotomous variable. And one of the also prerequisites for the test is that you have a homogeneity of variance for each dichotomous variable. The data in each of the di of each of the dichotomous variable ha variable has a homogeneity of variance. I've already explained what is a homogeneity of variance in a separate video clip, and it's already on the channel. Again, there is no outliers in the data. Now, this is a scatter plot for a dichotomous data, for a dichotomous group. So two categories, male and female, and the score. Again, as you can see, there is, uh, and we, we draw a line as we can see, there is, once you shift from male to female, there is an increase in the score. So that is where, the, how to use that point by serial correlation coefficient to look at two categories and the correlation between the two categories 
when one of the variables is dichotomous and the other one dichotomous discrete and the other one is continuous which is the score and you build up uh, or establish a relationship try to establish a relationship between those two variables uh, through looking also at the scatter plot the scatter plot shows that the male uh, score is uh, there is an increase once you move from the male to female and increase in the score point by serial correlation coefficient is one of the statistical tests that can be used to examine the relationship between two variables one of these variables is discrete dichotomous which mean it is two categories dichotomous mean two two categories like uh, yes or no life or dead pregnant or not pregnant and the other variables is continuous whether it is a ratio or intervals but it is continuous and it has to be normally distributed and lacks outliers so the test will examine the strength of the relationship the direction of the relationship and will determine the significance of association between the two variables by producing a p-value so the point by serial correlation coefficient in fact is based on using the Pearson correlation coefficient so it is considered to be a parametric test and the way to do that in SPSS here in this data view I have two data to set of data two variables one is labeled gender the other one is labeled score the gender is from one to two one is representing male and two representing female as clearly shown here in the value and as we can see here that the gender is a category so it's nominal, it's either male or female. Uh, the score is numerical, so it's a scale from zero to 100. And in this example, we want to do a statistical test to determine whether there is a relationship between the gender and the score uh, or, uh, and find the correlation and the co correlation coefficient. For this, type of data since we have here a dichotomous discrete dichotomous variable which has two categories and a continuous variable and then the way to do that is to use the point by serial correlation coefficient based on person correlation coefficient to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to correlate then click on pi variate pi mean two variate mean uh, two variables here in this window i'm going to look for correlation between gender so i'm going to move the gender to the variables variables and i'm going to move the score to the variables in the options and i'm going to also tick the statistics for means and standard deviation click on continue and I make sure that the correlation coefficient here we use is the Pearson for this data to test and I will stick with the two-tailed test of significant to get a p-value and if I click on OK here in this output of SPSS we have two tables the first one is descriptive showing the mean of the scores and the number of cases as we can see here 86 cases the second table is the correlation coefficient correlating the data of the gender with the score 
again as we can see here there is really a strong statistical association between gender and score as the value the r value is 0.87 and this is a really a strong relationship and it is a positive relationship and the statistical significance the b value is less than less than 0.05 so here we can clearly see that there is a clear association between the gender and the score uh, and it is statistically significant and the correlation uh, is positive to understand better the meaning of this table i'm going to draw a scatter plot to look at the data and the uh, um, diagram of the scatter plot will uh, from it we will determine the correlation between the gender and the score so if I click on that graph here and I scroll down to legacy and then to the scatter dot, I'm going to select the symbol scatter and I'm going to click on define. I'm going to put the gender at the X axis and the score at the Y axis. And if I click on OK, a scatter plot will be generated as we can see here it's one that represent male two represent females and the y-axis is the scores again as we can see here that the scores increases or the female have a higher scores than male scores so there is a higher proportion of females score comp compared to male i'm going also to double click on this graph i'm going to add to it trend line and as we can see here from the trend line if i just untick the uh, this level and click on apply and then shrink this and then shrink this close this again here the output has SVSS output has drawn a line here to represent that there is a linear relationship between gender and score and the more the, uh, the gender moves from male to female there is an increase in the score and this relationship is a positive relationship and a significant relationship of as we determined here 0.88 so this is the way to do a correlation between two variables one of these variables are discrete dichotomous and the other one is continuous variable the way to do that is to do a point by serial correlation coefficient based on Pearson equation or Pearson method.